This video describes the minimum calibrations that are needed to set up your system for rate and blockage monitoring. If you've purchased optional parts such as fan, work switch, bin, or shaft sensors, those will not be covered in this video. Remember you can always check the quick start guide in the manual for more information. If your display is not on, press the power button now. First, we'll do a default calibration just to make sure we're all starting from the same spot. This resets the monitor with the factory calibration settings. Press rate and then cal a few times until you see set default cal on the screen. Press and hold the OK key until the screen shows default cal set. Now we can set up the speed input. We need speed to calculate rate. For this video we will use a speed simulation called test speed. I am going to use 4.5 miles per hour as an example. Press rate, then mode, then cal. Using the arrow keys, enter 4.5 miles an hour for our test speed. Now we'll set up blockage monitoring. This is what tells the monitor how much product must be flowing through the sensors for them to stay out of alarm. The default sensitivity is 15 and we recommend you don't go any lower than that. The important thing to know is that you want to set it as high as possible without getting false blockage readings. You must be seeding to set sensitivity. Sensitivity must be set separately for each loop. To toggle between the loops, press the rate button. The loop that is on the top line is the loop you are calibrating. Once you have the right loop on the top line, Press the Cal button until sensitivity appears. Press the up arrow to increase the sensitivity value by 10. Press Rate to return to the Rate screen. If no blockage alarm occurs, go back to the sensitivity and raise it by 10 again. Once a blockage alarm occurs, you know you have the sensitivity value too high and you should decrease the value by 5 until the blockage alarms stop. The sensitivity is now set for loop 1. Repeat these steps to set the sensitivity for loop 2. Now we'll set the seed rate wizard to display your seed rate. You must be seeding in order to perform this calibration. Begin seeding and make sure there are no blockages or error messages occurring or the seed rate wizard will fail. Just like the blockage sensitivity, the seed rate must be set individually for each loop. Remember to press rate to toggle between R1 for loop 1 and R2 for loop 2. The loop displayed on the top line is the one you are calibrating. We will calibrate loop 1. Press cal. Seed rate wizard press the OK key screen appears. Press OK and enter your desired seed rate in pounds per acre using the up arrows. For this example we will use a value of 100 pounds per acre. Once you have entered your desired pounds per acre and pressed OK, you will be taken back to the rate screen and you will notice loop 1 calibrating itself to read 100 pounds per acre. Repeat these steps to set the seed rate wizard for loop 2. Because you are using a test speed, if you slow down or speed up, the rate value will fluctuate. Using a speed sensor or radar will make your rate display more accurate. That's the end of the basic settings and operations video for the single loop and dual loop rate and blockage monitors. Thanks for watching.